Okay, we're gonna go do the Ghost Flame Dragon, the third one, third and final. Then we got Idred, Black Knight. We're gonna go to Hippo after that. Get through Midra. Hopefully, we can do it all quickly. I'd love to get through like Mesmer. I'd love to get up to Jagged Peak, basically, in the next hour, but that's like 10 bosses away. Nine bosses away. Right, you here. Knights. Why is it like so? It's so framey in this area, man. Hate it. I don't even know what's going on right now. Apparently, I backstabbed a guy. Okay, two knights down. This fight is never quick. Why are all you guys, like, not fighting the dragon? He's dead. Last one. What is... Like, why... Thank you. Thank you, dragon. I was really hoping I was going to get a... Something. Backstab. This is such a mess. They've never all focused so hard on me. Usually, you know, they'll all be looking at the dragon. So I don't know what the hell's going on. All right, just gotta get through this guy. Yeah, good backstab. Thanks, Kim. Oh my god, thank you. Now we can fight this thing. In the worst spot imaginable. We got Destiny the phone game announced. I don't think there's a single person Who's disappointed by that? Dude, come on. How am I not dodging that? Ever gonna get a stagger? No, finally. Dude, like I just cannot dodge this.
course. I do. I. I. I just even attacking with these things feels so bad. The range is just terrible. I feel like I miss a quarter of my attacks. Oh my god, just stagger. How are you not staggered yet? Yeah, well, okay. Yeah, that does me a lot of good. There's nothing more annoying than getting a stagger when you really don't need it. That took so long. You know, I was wondering if it'd be faster to run through the entire fort. Or, sorry, run around the entire fort. Get to the Spirit Spring, jump down, and then jump back up and be, like, across from the Grace. But it's probably not faster than just running through here. This isn't really a long run. Strength. Yes. Surprised they haven't had to stagger yet, honestly. They had a lot of charge R2s, a lot of jump attacks there, nothing. Hippo. Yeah, that'd be brutal if they allowed there they made you use the mobile game to buy something in the real game. Or unlock something. That'd be so silly. But who knows, right? Yeah, like I've definitely been skipping more fragments on this run. But I feel like my damage shouldn't be much worse. Everything just feels slow. All these fights just feel slow. I have 11... Blessing levels. I think I'd usually have like 13 here. Which, I don't think there'd be a huge difference in damage. But what do I know? Still gotta get through Rakshasa too. That's gonna suck. Unfortunate. Oh my god, I actually dodged that. That's what I mean, like, most of these attacks that I do just completely whiff. It's so infuriating.
Finally. Okay, Rachasa, Jury, and Midra. And then I think we'll do Meter. We'll definitely finish this tomorrow, but I don't know if I'll have time to start another run. What would the next run be? The next one, Starfist, I think. Flame Art Starfists. War crime. I gotta remember war crime, man. I keep forgetting. Where'd my stamina go? Yeah, hopefully Rakshas is not too bad. This fight is pretty rough. Can be. Honestly, though, I think with the Axar 2, it won't be too bad. Yeah, I'm gonna ignore these hippos. Ignore all the fragments in the woods. Yeah, I was really hoping that uh, these guys weren't... Okay, it's fine. Totally fine. So am I 12 now or 11? 12, okay. We get one by Meter, or er, not Meter, uh, Mesmer, one in Jagged Peak, and then we can get whatever we want, really, in the last area. Last two areas. Whoa, okay, almost missed that. Between the Ancient Ruins and any Illum, there's like four super easy fragments. And there's a couple other ones that, you know, take a little, like barely more effort, but a little bit more effort. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Oh, what a silly boss. Like, this physic probably isn't going to do me any good. Because there's no way I'm going to be able to do a bunch of attacks in a row on this boss. That can stop that. That's good. I'm just going to spam this R2. That should have been a backstab, but whatever. Not getting a backstab here, like come on. The war cry, I forgot once again. Explain to me how the hell net I don't even know that company. About to do a better job than Mudging with Destiny by adding a new stuff that's not in Destiny 2. Couldn't tell ya. Where are we going? We're going now. Actually, you know what? Hang on. Let's try going this way. Maybe it's faster. Probably isn't. Eh, I don't think it is. It's way out of the way. Way out of the way. Where's the village of flies? Is it off to the right? I think it's up there. I haven't been there since my first playthrough. Yeah, there's no way this is faster. Kind of cool, though, that it wraps around to the bottom. At least this dungeon is quick. And then once we're done with Midra, we can warp right to uh, Meter. Hopefully that fight is all right. 
60 strength. I don't know if I'm going to go home. I mean, there really isn't anywhere else to put these points, but I guess int could be better than strength at this point. The 60 is another soft cap. I got to make that. Oof. This has to be the fastest dungeon to get through, though, no? I would think so. I can't remember. Is there a stake in that foggy area? I think there is. I'm going to skip the grace, and hopefully it's not a mistake. Be very sad. I'll get the grace at Jory, I think. But I'm skipping every other one in the Abyssal Woods. I gotta jump out. Oh my, how do you miss both of those swings, dude? That's what I mean, like the axis for whatever reason. I don't think that was the axis fault, but I'm just cursed with these things to always miss. That, what? You didn't even do anything, dude. You know, I'll grab the grab the next. Actually, no, I'll grab this grace. There's literally like one enemy that I gotta watch out for. So I don't remember where you get. You have to get off torrent, like right here somewhere. Yeah. Hey, if we can get through Midra, Metter, Mesmer, and Emir in the next half hour, like that's solid. That's a good hour, even though the dragon was bad. What about you after, uh, Hippo? Hippo wasn't great. I direct Shasa. It's been a pretty sloppy half hour. Last half hour. Hopefully the rest is good, though. All right, I actually think I need to go straight here. I think there is a stake here, though, in case this guy sees me. But because I haven't rested, like, I don't know where he... Like, I don't know if his position is going to be in a different spot, so I have no idea where he is right now. There's a stake, so we're fine. It's over there somewhere, I think. I can't see him, though. Maybe once we're past this tree, we're good? I think we're good. And I'm not exactly sure what the line should be here. I'm just really hoping we can get through another four bosses, because I think I can finish the rest in an hour. Jagged Peak plus the final three plus the gank fight. Like, if I start at bail and I go all the way to the end, it's probably like 40, 45 minutes. Unless I die or something. And the Jagged Peak Drake duo isn't too long. Santa Sex usually isn't too long. So I think I can finish all that in an hour, a little over an hour. Should be perfect. The good thing is it won't take long to get to any of the rest of the bosses. Like Metter and Ymir were pretty much out. I just have to listen to some dialogue. Mesmer, it's not going to take super long. I just got to ride two quick elevators. But I gotta run through this whole manse and get through this fight. So we'll see. Just need to not screw up this fight. This guy's gonna chase me all the way down, probably. Does he all well he doesn't always do it, but whenever he does it, I am probably dead. Like 
80% of the time. Okay, we should be okay. That's fine. Kind of figured that would happen. Like, it doesn't take a long time to get through his pants, luckily. But we still gotta do the fight. And Midra has a lot of health. He's squishy, because he's got no resistances, but he does have a lot of health. Skipping this grace. Which will obviously be, be bad if I die here, but I think it'll be fine. Go away. Why are you right here? I was playing DS1 earlier. Found out if you can get a re you can get a plus five of sword straight sword within 30 minutes of arriving at fire link. Master key to get to sword. Uh, the valley drinks from the Blight Town. Sorry, I can't read all that. <laughs> Run to Blight Town and pick a first bonfire, pick up the souls, go to Lizard Dark Rebase and get basement key go up and then I won't remember that, but I'm happy for you. I won't remember the uh Details, I guess. I remember that you got a plus five store sword, straight sword. And that's how I'll remember you, Treble Six. The guy who got the Astora straight sword at plus five in half an hour. Will never be forgotten. Why does that pick him up? Okay, that was almost really bad. Notice how I missed both of those. Classic. This is the one I don't know how to dodge. Oh, we didn't do the follow-up, we're fine. Sick. I did ring the thing, right? I remember going there, and I, I don't know why I wouldn't have rang the thing, but like, there's no way I didn't ring it. Hit list? No, I think I got hit. I got tagged by some Frenzy Flame. Is he? Is we all a new... May you join. May you join. Should I even bother leveling? At this point, probably not. There's really not much I can do. I could get more MP, but... Or FP, whatever the hell it's called in this game. But it's not really going to do anything for me. We got one invader, Metter, another invader, and Emir. Assuming I don't die to Emir, only one invader. And Vesmer, and then Jagged Peak, Ancient Ruins, and Consorts. I look at this, like when I'm going down this ladder, it always looks like a tongue to me. I mean, it doesn't once you look over here. Well, I guess it kind of could be, right? Very long tongue with these things sticking out of it. Good. Good fight. Now this fight I don't think is going to go so well. Can't imagine Mender is not resistant to magic.
Yeah, I mean, the only real big danger is the laser attack. Anything else is basically just a skill issue. Slash damage is good here, though. You basically just want to go for her during the transition because you get hit here, but as long as you don't move, that Nova won't hit you and then you can just keep wailing on her right here. Somehow that missed me. I think because I just like crouched or something. Beautiful. That really could not have gone better. You have way more health in it. I don't know if you Okay, no bleed, please. My dear star, a fine mother. Drink this now. I think the, you know what, I don't actually know how long the, what is it, uh, the successive attack power buff lasts, hopefully more than like a minute, otherwise I wasted it, because <laughs> this stupid monologue. And I will be the only mother. These spells honestly do so much damage. Like that one? Uh oh. Jesus Christ, and that's the physic. Yeah, be careful. I, I really would like for him to summon hands, I'm being honest. Thank you. Because he just sits there. I can't believe we're actually going to get through Mesmer. Like, I didn't think we'd be anywhere near here. Having fun with your Mesmer Fire Knight build? What's up, Torny? Yeah, the like, you get a lot of stuff to play with from the Fire Knights. A lot of Ashes of War, got all the incants, got the armors, like, multiple armor sets. All right, one more elevator. Maybe we can squeak the Jacket Peak Drake in, too. If Mesmer is quick. This Fire Knight here is a problem, though. This guy's so annoying to try and get by. I'm so, I'm so dead. Just run. I'm not getting that fragment. That, that one's gone. Oh, Jesus Christ. I hate that guy. 800. Well, strength is better. Strength's probably going to be better all the way to 80, then. Guess we'll do that. Because of either Dancing Lion's weakness to fire or scatter fragments I've been collecting, I just made quick work of that boss. Probably both, I imagine. Could sneak to it after resting. I could. And I thought about doing it. But I still can. I'll leave it in the back of my mind that it's there. But I still got a lot of fragments I can get for areas coming up. Because I don't think it would help me if I got it right now. I think I'd still need one more to level up.
Oh, it's early. Wow. Surprising. I can't believe I got hit by that. It was just a little late. I was going to say, he better be down after that. <laughs> I thought he wasn't going to be. Sick. There we go. Dragon Pit Terminus. Where are you? Right here. Recently confronted Melania in my Karin Sorcerer Sword build. As my Karin Sorcerer Sword build. No surprising. A swiftly improving appearing her. Nice, man. Yeah, I'm pretty terrible at appearing her myself. I really, I've never really done it. Never really tried pairing Melania because like you need three parries to get one and I feel like it's very easy to miss parries in that fight. So I just never really bothered to learn it. So let me run through what we just did, right? So we, we finished. What did we start the last hour with? We started with the dragon, which means the boss before that was falling star beast. That was 27. So the dragon and Idred are 29. Hippo through Midra would be 33. And then we just did three other ones, so 36, which means six more bosses. That's right by my count. Three here, and then three between the ruins and in your Ilum. So we're good. We can definitely finish the rest in like an hour. I, I'm surprised we're even on our way here. Like, I was hoping to just get Mesper done in an hour, in the last hour, but we're gonna get this one done too. My method is pairing her a few nanoseconds before my normal timing with other foes, really. I feel like it just takes time to get used to, too. Especially when you're not used to parrying. Because you're playing the fight a completely different way. Quick level. I can do mine. I also, like, I keep forgetting to use Warcry. I gotta remember to use it. All right, where's the boss dragon? One that's not injured. This Drake is not interested in anything. The other one, that is. He's just standing there.
Okay, good. Other dragon, you'd be nice. Thank you, iframes. We're gonna work back here. Actually, I don't think I got hit, so I didn't I didn't use anything there. We could have gone to Senesax. <coughs> Excuse me, Senesax, but we'll save Senesax for next time. 